Catherine, new Prime Minister, what Mr. Foley says, when he's elected, he will have won the right to decide what constitutional rights should be overridden. What do you think, please, sir? Pierre Polyev just proposed to override the fundamental freedoms and protections of Canadians, override the charter that is there to protect women, minorities, to us LGBTQI plus communities. That's not right and it's not responsible. On top of that, he's spending time with far-right nationalist groups, uh, refusing to condemn them or garbage conspiracy theorists like Alex Jones because he wants their votes. Think about it. That is not responsible leadership. That is dangerous for democracy. It's dangerous for Canadians. Okay. Pierre Polyev s'est engagé à renverser les protections fondamentales des Canadiens garantis par la Charte des droits et libertés. Les protections pour les femmes, les protections pour les communautés de SLGBTQI+, les communautés euh, de minoritaires. C'est irresponsable et c'est pas ce dont on a besoin. En même temps, il passe du temps à essayer de courtiser les groupes d'extrême droite pour aller chercher des votes et de l'argent. C'est pas responsable, c'est dangereux pour le Canada. Mais c'est constitutionnel, non, Monsieur Trudeau, mais c'est... Universities are places of uh, learning, they're places for freedom of expression, freedom of thought, freedom of ideas, but that only works if people feel safe on campus. Right now, right across the country, Jewish students do not feel safe. That's not right. Les universités, c'est des endroits d'apprentissage, des endroits de liberté d'expression, de liberté de pensée, mais ça fonctionne seulement si les jeunes se sentent en sécurité sur les campus. Or, trop de jeunes Canadiens de confession juive ne se sentent pas en sécurité sur leur campus. Ça, ça doit changer. So, en fait, c'est la clause dérogatoire, c'est constitutionnel, non? Je euh, trouve ça extrêmement inquiétante, euh, les déclarations de M. Pouliev hier, qu'effectivement, il va soustraire euh, le gouvernement de quelques prévisions de nos chartes des droits et des libertés, sans préciser euh, lesquelles des droits et des libertés qui vont toucher. Est-ce que c'est des droits démocratiques? Est-ce que c'est des droits de mobilité? Est-ce que c'est des droits à l'égalité? Ça, on ne sait rien parce qu'il ne l'a pas dit. Mais le fait qu'il veut définir euh, qu'est-ce qui est constitutionnel ou non, qui va agir un peu comme un droit, ça, c'est quelque chose qui doit être inquiétant pour toutes les Canadiennes et les Canadiens. Et on a déjà vu ça avec le gouvernement Doug Ford en Ontario, où effectivement, il a soustrait euh, les droits euh, fondamentaux euh, pour les syndicats de s'organiser euh, et euh, le droit des travailleurs et des travailleuses. Alors, ce n'est pas quelque chose qui est juste euh, hérique, c'est quelque chose que les conservateurs ont déjà entrepris, euh, cette idée-là qu'on peut soustraire, effacer. À certains aspects de notre Constitution, c'est les droits fondamentaux définis dans le Charte des droits et des libertés, et c'est fortement inquiétant qui n'a pas précisé ses paroles et qui n'a pas dit qu'est-ce qu'il veut faire. It's, it's profoundly disturbing, I think, to so many Canadians uh, that Mr. Polyev yesterday was freely talking about uh, deleting some of our rights, uh, liberties. He hasn't said which ones that he would impact on, on whether he would use uh, uh, the notwithstanding clause on democratic rights, on equality rights, on mobility rights. He hasn't said what. Uh, we know that he is willing to cut services. Now he seems willing to delete our rights. He's not willing to answer these questions. He's not ans uh, willing to, to actually talk about uh, what he intends to do, what he means when he uh, makes these vague statements. But they are profoundly disturbing just the same. And this is not... Uh, a theoretical conversation because, of course, Mr. Polyev, uh, as a conservative, uh, has, has a track record. And we've seen Doug Ford as a conservative in Ontario attacking fundamental union rights, attacking fundamental rights to collective organizing, the rights of workers. We've seen this. This is not a theoretical thing. This is a very real thing. And Mr. Polyev needs to come clean on what rights he wants to delete. He wants to cut services, he wants to delete our rights, 
he has to come clean and talk to Canadians and, and, and be very clear about what he means. The Harper government never used the notwithstanding clause. Why do you think uh, Paul Yeb would, and, and what do you think he would use it for specifically? Well, uh, that's, that's a very good question. What is he going to use it for? I mean, he's inferred that he will. So the question is, uh, what, what will he use it for? I, I think that's a question that he absolutely needs to be pressed on. Uh, the Harper government, uh, you'll, you'll recall, because uh, you were around uh, then, as I was, uh, repeatedly uh, botched legislation in the House of Commons, did not pay attention uh, to our rights and liberties. Uh, they repeatedly put legislation through the House, often using closure and a whole variety of procedural techniques, and then the courts rejected the legislation because it was badly botched. It didn't respect our fundamental constitution. And so conservatives should have taken a lesson from that. They should have said, uh, well, next time we should pay more attention to drafting legislation. We should pay more attention to actually uh, having the, uh, uh, that uh, checks and balances that come through the committee, uh, committee part of pr a process for legislation and, and hearing from witnesses. Uh, but it appears that Mr. Polyev, instead of br bringing those important lessons forward, uh, seems to be taking another tact, and it is profoundly disturbing. Accused, you know, Polyev's Conservative Party of, you know, hang being around extremists. Does that kind of align with concerns of Polyev also using the not notwithstanding clause in certain circumstances? Uh, uh, absolutely. I, I think uh, both what has been revealed about Mr. Polyev, uh, the hashtags uh, that uh, have uh, been. Uh, uh, sort of a, a call out uh, to to uh, misogynistic groups. Uh, the fact that he has been willing to to meet with white supremacists. All of these things are profoundly disturbing. Uh, the rise in hate and disinformation that we're seeing in this country is something that I think all Canadians are concerned about. And so when we have our our document, which is the Charter of Rights and Liberties, when we have our Constitution, and Mr. Polyev puts that into question given all of these other actions that he's taken, I think it's profoundly disturbing. And Canadians need to be pressing, and all of us need to be pressing, Mr. Pauly, for answers. Thanks. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.